Okay, so before progressing with this image further, I wanted to discuss some different options for uh, ways to approach the line work. So the line work left on itself is this, um, and it's fairly realistic. It's uh, smooth and linear, uh, fairly economical, though it could be cleaned up a lot if you were going for kind of a more pure line thing. Um, but there are other ways to approach it. You don't have to be that kind of um, accurate with it. So let's do another layer and see what uh, what happens when we come up with some variations on that. I'm going to turn up the opacity to 50 and uh, just to kind of make it a little more dramatic or maybe even to like 75%. So what if we were to approach this in a linear style still, but do uh, straight lines. So starting with the nose, we can begin to carve out the figure in a much different way. Say so we can potentially restrict ourselves to using only straight lines and having no curvature. I think that could create an interesting result. And that could be something that, um, depending on the type of content you want to create, could be really useful to do. And because figures are so rounded, it can be um, really effective and different to, to approach it in this way. Essentially, you're giving somebody, you know, your viewer something different, something that they don't expect, an approach that, you know, you don't normally see. And the nice thing about working digitally and working with these kind of traced out modern methods is that you can do this and run through a variety of approaches really quickly to kind of see what works best for you and what works best for um, building up your style and building up a particular image. So again, I'm going around basically uh, the more or less the same approach as the other layer, but I'm trying to carve out the figure a little differently and uh, just to use straight lines. I'm still going across the uh, anatomical forms that I want to emphasize, but I'm kind of abandoning the idea of doing complete curvature. And this way, it's going to create a, a totally different look, a totally different feel. And we'll see what comes out. And as we progress through this, remember what we're really doing is trying to emphasize form. We're not trying to do anything anything else. Um, so we're eliminating a lot of uh, extraneous information from the photograph, and we're just emphasizing what we need to get across this kind of form. And we're approaching everything with the idea of form in mind, but we are changing it so that it becomes uh, the form gets expressed a little bit differently. So as these forms shift and change, you have to kind of evolve the direction of where the lines go. And that can be 
kind of interesting in and of itself. So when we turn off this base layer, we kind of create a totally different feel, even though it's more or less the same image as we have in the other layer. So I kind of like both for different reasons. Um, this kind of gives you a, a planar analysis, blocky kind of feel. The other one gives you a more elegant sort of uh, approach to it. But uh, again, I think they're both um, fairly effective in terms of conveying information. Um, and I like both because you can kind of work fairly quickly through them. Um, and in this one, I think I'm I am going to add the glasses back in uh, because it could be I think it could be pretty interesting to have, you know, glasses that are supposed to be totally round, be kind of squared off and blocky. So let's turn that off and kind of see what we have. So that's a totally different uh, approach as far as line work goes, but again, it gets you a similar um, a similar likeness because you're still basing it off of the same thing. The expression of it is very different though. Um, so uh, in the next section, we'll go and do some lighting based off the other one.